how to design a Shopify store in less than 10 minutes. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create an amazing looking Shopify store in less than 10 minutes. So having said that, let's get started. Now, before I begin guys, I just want to say that if you guys want to go ahead and sign up to Shopify and create a store, then click the link down in the description below so that you guys can see how you can create an amazing looking store in a couple of minutes. So let's get started. Now, as you can see right here, I created this store in a couple of minutes. It didn't take a while. Now, I granted it isn't perfect. Now, there are a lot of things to do and it's not finished yet completely. But there are a couple of things that you can see right here that I have done. Uh, it overall makes the whole store look clean, modern and professional, right? So if you guys are wondering how you can get your sales up, then all you need to do is create a good looking store that doesn't have any gimmicks or doesn't look weird has good animation looks clean looks decent and looks trustworthy so that's what i'm going to be showing you first things first sign up onto shopify by clicking the link in the description and once you've signed up you are good to go so once you've signed up all you have to do is come over here onto the left hand side and over here you will see sales channels and in the sales channels you will see your online store and in online store you will have this option right here so over here as you can see i played with a couple of themes a couple of different options right here trying to see which one looks good there are some free themes available as you can see right here and there are some paid themes it all depends on you you can go ahead and play with all of these however you want but the overall objective and the principle is the same so once you've picked out a theme you are good to go so over here as you can see i'm currently working with the dawn theme which is i find the most cleanest and most simplest to use or i think um, many many stores online they are using this theme but if you want to go with a paid theme you can go with a paid theme as well as you can see there is a theme store right here you can go ahead and go visit the theme store right here and choose a theme that you want there are paid themes free themes whatever you feel like it you can go ahead and view them right here so over here as you can see nine free themes and 93 paid themes they all have different objectives different colors in my opinion the paid themes are a little bit better especially the impulse theme i really like the impulse one i checked it out but it is around 300 dollars. so in my opinion you should first start with the free theme get your store running get a couple of sales and once you start making enough money then you can go ahead and afford a theme go ahead and buy a good and decent theme if you want to so now let's go ahead and customize our store so over here as you can see dawn theme over here we have the customize option right here we're going to click on customize and it's going to open up right here now i have done a couple of things so let me just remove all of that start from the scratch and show you how you can add different products different names and stuff like that so when you first start it's going to look like this everything is going to be blank nothing is going to be added over here Everything is going to look like this right very simple so first things first what you're going to do is you're going to have to give your store a decent enough name so for me it was kiwi rings uh, you can go with anything you want just keep it minimalistic give it a good name that people can remember and is you know it's just rolls off the tongue next when you enter the store what you're going to do is you're going to have to edit it out try different things play around with it see whichever concept feels better to you uh, right into your demographic or whatever it is that you're looking for play around with it and see which one works best for your store so you can go ahead and add you know a image right here uh, like a banner image if you want for me i just added this one this was a free image right here as you can see shopify provides free images but if it don't find any good images from here you can go ahead and find other images from different websites such as uh, pexels right here as you can see we have a bunch of different options pexels is an amazing option to find stock images videos whatever it is that you're looking for you can find it over here you can go on to other stores so it all depends on you right so for me i found this one i just simply searched for rings over here and it came right here as you can see and then i just simply selected it select the image and boom it was selected next what you can do is maybe give it the heading a name or remove it completely it all depends on you instead of saying something like the best rings in the world don't be like that be humble about it or be different so for me i just liked for the rebels 
something like that yeah and then you have the shop all button you can even uh it decrease the size of it right you, or you can go with the image opacity overlay you know it all depends on you you can keep it darker brighter it all depends on you you can have like medium height or small height you know for the banner i think the small one fits much better so yeah i think that looks much nicer you can go ahead and change the overall themes and colors of it but we'll get to that in a second first we gotta add some of our other stuff so over here you can talk about your brand what it is for why people should come over here and buy your product and you are good to go so now i want to edit the part of my website such as the home page uh, the header as well and i added this announcement over here sign up to get 20 percent off on your first order you can add whatever it is you like so in the header i would like to add like a logo right Right. So to add a logo, you can just simply replace it. I already created a logo, which is right here. Now, if you're wondering where you can get a logo like this, well, it's pretty simple. I used Canva. So right here, as you can see, I designed this logo. You can go ahead and find different templates. So I found this one right here. Let me show you. So I found this one right here, this template. And all I had to do was change the name. So let me just load this up. Diamond rings. This was the name. And I just changed diamond rings to Kiwi then all i had to do was download it and you are good to go you can find amazing design and templates right here onto canva it's free and i highly highly recommend you use canva so next you just simply upload it by just simply clicking on the header option and over here you will have logo images and you just simply change the image or remove it and then upload your own one pretty simple then you can go ahead and move on to the rest of the website so for the image banner i said for the rebels i wanted to change this actually so i'm just simply gonna write ev rings over here right like this and there we go and then we just simply talk about our brand i'm just simply gonna write for the rebels right here and then you can go ahead and type whatever information you want about your products or about your website and showcase your visitors why they should buy your product. Next, what we can do is we can add some featured products and product images. So for that, you're going to have to create a product. So to create a product is very simple. Let me just show you. So in your Shopify store underneath product, you will have this section right here. You can create different products by clicking on add product button right here and then adding the name, the title, the description, adding the images, the pricing of it and location and every other information that they ask for and you are good to go. So as you can see, I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products right here and I'm good to go. And then you just simply import it over here by just simply clicking on the section you want to add your products to coming over here onto the right hand side and you can either select the collection or you could go ahead and manually enter in the products you want so for me i'm just simply going to select the collection right here this is the collection i want and i'll click on select and click on save and as you can see all the products are right here and they are pretty decent they aren't the best so of course, these are just example products that I found online. Of course, you're going to have to capture better images to showcase and highlight your products so that they look good and people would want to buy these products. These are just example products. That's what I'm saying. Next, what you can do is you can add other media to it. So over here, we have this multimedia uh, collage. You can add that over here. You can add a video over here. So I just simply added this video right here from my YouTube channel. I uploaded it onto my channel unlisted it so that people don't see it and then i just simply copied the link and pasted it over here so it basically plays like this although this is not recommended i recommend you use something else but this is just an example on how what you should do and how you can create it but you generally get the idea right next what we can do is we can change up some of the stuff and maybe like add or remove section so i really don't like this section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this section i'm going to add another section so to add a section come over here onto the left hand side you will see at the bottom you it says add section so we're going to click on add section the pop-up is going to pop up and then we're going to see what type of section we want either a slideshow rich text page multi-column uh, image banner featured product or featured collection it all depends on you let's say we want to add a featured collection click over there and then we just simply move this up right here you can even move it like this 
on the right hand side and it'll show you how it's going to look like so then we paste it over here and over here we're just simply going to add the collection we just simply again select the collection we want and let's say this one and boom this is how it's going to look like we are good to go next what we can do is we can edit individual products so we click on this product right here it's going to open up right here and what we can do over here is we can change up some of the images maybe maybe change up some of the description the material that is used maybe image with a text we can add like a small gif or a video that showcases the product and why people should buy it and then on the description we can add something like that that'll look good so make sure what you do is give it a nice name input high quality images the description should be nice and simple for me it's this is just an example you get the general idea of what you are looking for right so keep it simple keep it short and keep it accurate and people will buy the products on your website having a good website on a shopify store is the key to getting sales that is what i recommend so if i for example find different stores right if i'm looking to buy rings recently i did wanted to buy rings but i would generally go on to different stores the websites they weren't good if you have a decent enough website, you already build it a trust with your customers. That's basically key. So having a good website goes a long way. And I highly, highly recommend you work on your website. Give it time. It's not easy. It'll take time. You start building the website. You'll start seeing some things that you would want to change all right maybe this should be here maybe the description should be smaller maybe these images aren't the best maybe you should change up the images you'll start to change stuff and you'll eventually reach the perfect stage of your website that you would like and you will be like okay now it's perfect we are good but as i said before you keep working on it you're gonna find the changes that you want and you're gonna change them so pretty simple once you've done the individual products then we can go back let me just go back real quick then of course at the bottom we have the footer so for the footer what you can do is maybe you can change up the colors let me just see some of the colors that i would want background two so it all depends on you you can add like a quick links button info our mission your subscription email so that people can sign up as you can see i already had added sign up to get 20 percent off on your first order and you could add something like that and you should be good to go and once you have you know edited the website you see like you're like okay this is perfect everything is done we don't need anything else just save the website right here go back to your shopify store and go ahead and view your store and then this is how it's going to look like once it's fully ready and fully finished so pretty simple this is how you do it so again if you want to sign up on to shopify and create your store then click the link down in the description below you'll get a free trial of shopify as well that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye